Hey everybody, it's Carla here. Hope y'all are all having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. It's been really crazy here. It keeps getting really dark and raining here in North Carolina and then it gets bright, bright sunny. So I've had a busy day today. I am in the process of putting together my first crafty Saturday crop that uh, we haven't had one in over a year. And I'm really excited because I've got uh, a nice group of um, friends and new friends to welcome to our crafty meetups. So very excited about that. So I made my way to the dollar store, Dollar Tree, after going to the office and setting up the room. I can't leave the room like that because it's the training room where I teach all my classes at my office, Keller Williams here in Kernersville. Um, but I was able to set it up, reconfigure the way I used to do it. We usually had anywhere from seven to 10 people. Now I have 14, so I have seating for 16. So I wanted to go ahead and do that before Saturday and that way I know the layout and all that jazz. Anybody that knows me knows I have to be prepared and know the plan. So I did go to Dollar Tree because I was hoping to find some of the really, really cool storage um, things that everybody's been showing. And I looked up and got my store had actually three of these and I put all three in my cart. But then when I got to check out, I realized that the bottom of one of them was totally shattered. So I was able to get two. Yay! And while I was in the store, I um, they had a, my store didn't have that much and I know I haven't missed the school supplies because I've been in there frequently and I asked the lady at the register um, were they going to be getting any more she said they haven't gotten everything that they didn't even get a truck this past week and that they get one tomorrow so there's she she was pretty sure that they'd be getting some more so I'm crossing my fingers there's quite a few containers that I've seen you guys haul that I'd like to find I'd like to get a couple of more of these because I got two and I'm gonna show you why so when I was in the store um, let me grab some cardstock. They had some kids' construction paper and sketchbooks and stuff that were 9 by 12. And I tried them out. So this is 8.5 by 11, just regular old cardstock, you know. So you got plenty of room in there to move around. And when I was in the store, like I said, I tried out the, car, the um, construction paper and the sketchbook that they had that said they were 9 by 12. And I was very excited for that. And the reason why, if you had watched one of my previous videos, I had made, uh, I changed up a puzzle rack that I had from my childcare days and turned it into um, storage for my dies like this. I love this system. So I've got a couple of them stacked here. So I, these are nine by 12. These will fit in this tray. So anybody that's looking, that doesn't have, um, a puzzle rack it will work in these as well too so these are the 9 by 12 these these I got at Walmart they came in a pack of I think six so there's four of those that I had left over stacked up then I also got a pack did I bring that over yeah right here from Michaels the creatology stuff was all 50% off recently these come with five in there, uh, three black and two white. And these are normally $5.99, so I got them half off. So I got them for uh, $3, and there are the nine by 12. Just so you guys can see, they fit in here perfectly. Awesome! So if you want to make um, dye storage, you could buy those from Creatology or Walmart. They were a little bit more money. I think these were about six or seven dollars for six. They were right just over a dollar piece. These are a better deal if you don't mind having different color bases because you can get it for three dollars for, for five. So this is what it looks like once you get the magnet. This magnet sheet I got at Lowe's Home Improvement. It is the vent covers and you get I think three in a pack for six or seven dollars I can't remember um, but as you can see they hold up very well they don't fall off and I was able to label them I was out of label um, the label tape when I made them and I still haven't taken the time to go in and um, put the, the full labels on there but these are just little sticky notes so just so you guys can see how easy this is to stack them up in here so if you want to do some dye storage, this is a, a great solution and it takes up 
a lot less space than the um, all in the packaging. So it just really depends. I just thought I'd share with you guys because that's what I'm going to possibly do. So I know a lot of people have been buying these and I'm going to E6000 them together. I don't think I'm going to that way if I want to reconfigure. I can. I thought that I would share with you guys what it looks like. Stacked up. Mine's are shift, mine are shifting. There we go. There we go. They got to pop together. So I'm going to see how they do with holding some weight. I'm just going to load this one up with all my blank ones and pick it up. It's a little wonky picking up. So there you go, guys. It works pretty good. And they're staying together. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Awesome. So take this apart. Yeah. So if you want to do die storage like that on these canvas boards, it will work really well. And the neat thing is that it will go on the shelf like this. So it'll take up less space. So very cool. So I thought I'd share that with you guys and get this out of the way. Over here, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for a couple of more of those for some other things. Then the other things that I picked up, like I said, it's kind of small. I picked up some of the stickers. Pick these up. I need to do a wedding album for a friend. These are a repurchase. I got two more of these. Love those, aren't they pretty? These remind me of K and Company. And then I had to get the little flamingos. Aren't they cute? So they're dimensional with some holographic. This one's wearing a football helmet. I was like, I don't know if I'll use them. One of them has a top hat. Very cute. So I got them. And then I got, these are a repurchase too for summer. So I got two of these. Just love these. They're so cute. Super stinking cute. And I love how they have just a little bit of like silver foiling on them. Very cute. So that's all the stickers I got. And the other two things that I got, let me set that aside, is I got this little, it's a tech case, and it has little flamingos on it, but I'm always carrying my earbuds with me, so I went ahead and got this to keep with me so I can take to the office um, or just keep in my purse, so I got that. And the last thing I picked up was this activity tray. They had these in a lot of different colors, and... Um, so it's, this is was in the back to school supplies as well. And when I saw it, I thought, huh, I wonder if that'll work. So I got one. Well, for a couple different reasons. You can lay this on your desk. And if you want to keep all your little things in here, it's a nice little tray, you know, to carry around if you're making die cuts or you have little pieces. The other thing that I thought about is you guys know how frugal I like to be. And... I thought, you know, they sell these little trays to put your ink pads in while you're stamping. I thought, I wonder if that would work for these. So I pulled out a couple different ink pads. I even pulled out one of the Catherine Puller ones that are round. And they're not a perfect fit, but they do stay so they won't shift around on your desk. So if you wanted to get one of these to hold your ink pads while you're stamping, it will work. So... And there is the round one. Pretty cool, huh? So I thought that might work. So you could take this with you and um, keep your ink pads on there while you're working. They won't shift around and get all over your workspace. The other thing I want to share with you, y'all know that I have, I'm going to grab this. This little die storage that I can carry around when I'm um, working on something, I can keep my dies so they're not I'm not losing them I see so many people on Facebook groups that lose their little dies this little idea will be great so I wanted a little bit smaller one I have this larger one at my die cutting station here and then I thought it'd be nice to have a little miniature version um, while I'm working here at my desk that way um, it doesn't take quite quite as much room so I picked up this little I think this is five by seven I think this is a five by seven. Five. Yep, five by seven. So I just had a little piece of magnet left over and it just props up on my desk and it holds the dies perfectly. They're not gonna fall off. 
So you guys, this is another great thing, great tool that I made that I can just keep here on my desk. It'll be perfect to take to crops because it's small and it holds quite a bit. These are some of the dies I was working on and it's gonna reduce the amount of times that I'm gonna lose it. Lose them or misplace them. So if you want, they have these at the dollar store. I actually picked this up at Walmart. I think it was 97 cents or they have them at the dollar store. The dollar store had them in this configuration and in this configuration. So depending on which one you like, either one works good. I like this one and it just works perfectly. So I actually have an extra piece of magnet in there that I had and um, just went ahead and just slid it in there. That way I have it if I need it ready to go. All right guys, that's everything that I picked up. These I'm excited for, aren't they pretty? So, hope you guys are all doing well. I need to clean up my room. I've been organizing and rearranging a few things and then I've got to decide what I'm going to do at Saturday's crop. So I've got to pick out a few things that I want to do. Try not to take the whole room with me, which is I, I do, often do do. So, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. Good luck shopping at the Dollar Tree and finding you some goodies and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody.